students and I welcome back to SK Wonder Kids and my today's video is going to be on someone's demand that is class 9 science chapter number 10 gravitation it is from class 9 science so, so today we are going to study little from gravitation okay because as we know it is little long chapter so we will try to cover this chapter in many videos okay so first we have today gravitation we will understand its meaning okay about gravitational force later today we are going to understand the universal law of gravitation so first the question arises that what is gravitational force just like in book you can read uh, the main story behind gravitation okay you can read that actually once newton was sitting under an apple tree later suddenly one apple fall on his head okay it fell on his head later he started thinking why did it fall why did it not go up later he thought that if earth attracts each object towards itself so why does moon not get attracted towards earth okay so that's main story story behind this uh, about gravitation later he invented the universal law of gravitation and became a lot famous with universal law of gravitation so what we can see in this gravitation chapter first what is gravitational force by which force earth attracts every object towards itself and not only earth each object in the universe attracts just like if we have two bodies okay if we have two bodies one here okay and one here okay just like if we have two bodies one here and one here imagine its mass is m1 and its mass is m2 okay this we can have of course we can have now if the distance between them if the distance between them is okay d okay if the distance between them is d so they will attract each other with any force okay here this will apply any force on this and this will apply any force on this okay let the magnitude of those forces be f okay their directions are opposite this m1 will apply a force on m2 and m2 will apply a force on m1 okay just like we can write f1 m2 by m1 this we can write m f1 m1 by m2 this we can write of course we can write where their okay where their values can be seen now if distances any any distance between them we have just like each object subtracted by any distance in the universe attracts each other okay with any force that is proportional to the product of masses and inversely proportional to the square of distance between them okay this we have this is universal law of gravitation what is gravitational force this we can define gravitational force okay we can define gravitational force okay that is gravitational force here in this cases is equals to f this we have so in this case which f magnitude we have by which those two objects are attracting each other that is our gravitational force okay so gravitational force we can define as it is um, okay it is uh, such a kind of force that can cause attraction of any two objects in the universe okay of as many as possible every object in the universe attracts the universe attracts the another object that is okay by a force that is gravitational force this is simple definition of gravitational force now question arises about universal law of gravitation okay now question arises that what is universal law okay universal law of gravitation okay let me tell you that it is a universal law means in all generally in all fields it can be applicable in all cases universal law of gravitation this we have gravitational force we know that each object in the universe attracts another object now what is universal law of gravitation okay by whom it is given sir isaac newton we can also see in this book okay we can write universal law of gravitation by sir isaac newton or simply newton this we can write of course we can write now question arises that what is it okay what is universal law of gravitation so we can see in book that actually what we can see that if we have same case then imagine that there is a force applied okay f imagine here gravitational force is f okay imagine gravitational force is f in this case then we can write f is proportional to the okay this is symbol of proportionality f is proportional to the product of masses which two masses we have m1 and m2 that product we can write 
m1 m2 and is inversely proportional okay first we can write that f proportional m1 m2 okay directly proportional f is directly proportional to m1 and m2 now here see newton has declared that f is inversely proportional to the square of distance between them okay square of distance between them and inversely not directly okay inversely inversely we can write means 1 by d square if the distance between them is d then uh, the square of distance between them is d square but it is inversely proportional so f proportional 1 by d square okay if it is we can call f is inversely proportional to the d square of or we can say that f is directly proportional to the inverse of d square this we can write now uh, now here uh, we know that f is proportional to the m1 m2 and f is proportional to the 1 by d square so if we try to substitute those values in a single equation so finally what will get f is proportional to the okay m1 m2 now it will be multiplied with this okay so 1 by d square m1 into m2 into 1 is okay m1 m2 now here nothing is 1 we can take 1 into d square is d square so f is proportional to the m1 m2 by d square this we have this is our final equation but after this only once more equation we have to write and that is now here only proportionality okay symbol we have to remove so while removing proportionality symbol only what we have to make sure will get a constant okay when at the place of this proportionality symbol will put equals to so one proportionality constant will come that will be known as g in this chapter so f equals to m1 m2 by okay okay d square we can write so finally what we got the magnitude of f is g m1 m2 by d square okay so let me inform you that this itself is universal law of gravitation this equation okay we have to make sure that this equation is the universal law of gravitation this we have now the question arises that whether what is g okay so let me tell you it is a proportionality constant and that we, we can call it as universal gravitational constant or simply gravitational constant now what is the unit of g okay for unit of g we need okay we need any unit for g so only what we have to do for unit of g okay just like it is very simple only we'll find the value of g later whatever formula will get okay its magnitude will find out according to that we can put values just like i'm telling you just like if what we can write that f by g equals to m1 m2 by and d square this we can write of course this we can write f by g equals to m1 m2 by d square because as j was in multiplication with this as it will come with this it will be in division f by g equals to m1 m2 by d square so what we can write if we'll transport this f here so now what we can write that only what we have to do then okay finally what we can write that 1 by g equals to is it was in division okay so what we can write 1 by g equals to m1 m2 by d square okay dot f this we can write of course this we can write now this we can write of course now here we'll do its inverse g value we have to find out so only what we'll do that here g equals to its inverse also will do to find out the value of g so g value finally what we'll get that will be sorry it will is 1 by f 1 by f so finally what we'll get g value will be f okay here d square will be multiplied with this d square divided by m1 and 2 so here how we have done this because as we know f by g equals to m1 m2 divided by d square okay this we have this will tr we'll try to send this f here so finally what will get here 1 will come at the place of f so 1 by g equals to m1 m2 by d square dot 1 by f or multiplied by 1 by f so what we will do now here finally then its reciprocal will do its inverse to find out the value of g then g equals to its inverse also f d square by m1 m2 now this we have according to this okay this is very important equation now according to this equation we can find out unit for g so it implies that what is the unit for g okay its unit let me tell you that the unit of g is here for okay here force we have unit newton okay so newton we can write now d square means length square so meter square 
newton meter squared now m1 into m2 okay m means mass into mass that is mass squared okay mass unit kg so here kg squared will be so kg squared but we have to bring it upstairs so the exponent symbol will be changed so kg inverse squared so what we have its unit for g or universal gravitational constant is newton meter squared kg raised to the power minus 2 this is the unit for g so let me inform you that this is the main universal law of gravitation but there is very important thing that let me inform you that value of g if we try to find value of g then that is 6.6 Six seven three into ten raised to the power minus eleven newton meter squared. Okay, kg minus two. Kg power minus two. This is the value of g. This is also very important concept. Okay, it is. It will be very helpful for us to solve the numerical problems. Okay, so value of g is six point six seven three into ten raised to the power minus eleven and same unit which we had found newton meter square kg raised to the power minus two in SI unit. So this is the okay first introduction to gravitational force, later universal law of gravitation that was given by Sir Isaac Newton. So in my next video we can study some more points related to this chapter gravitation from class nine chapter ten. So this was my today's topic. Thank you.